What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of Deer here. Welcome to you to another episode of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, Despair. And in the last episode of this, the third area opened up. It was more of a metropolitan area, a little bit in the background. But the biggest thing and the biggest point of concern that we have at this current moment is what the heck is going to happen. We found a motel, which is cool to have. But we have two other areas that we have to figure out. The Titty Typhoon. The Titty Typhoon. This is how we're starting the freaking episode. Okay. The, it's, a, it's a music venue. Uh oh. It's a music venue. Venue parking. It's a building with a gaudy, tasteless neon lights and obviously looks suspicious. I can't say that there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Venue entrance. Hi, Buki! What the? Yahoo! Why are you shouting so suddenly? D don't surprise me like that. <laughs> the truth is so overwhelming, I can't help but shouting. That's, totally That's because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I, I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help but feel excited. I never expected to find a music venue, so I can't help but feel excited. Did I just say that twice? Did I just say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving up a very weird vibe. No, not at all! I'm totally fine! Not at all! I'm so totally fine! Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Huh? Did I just say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. It's just the beginning! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling! It feels... It's like a smug... It's the, like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor and no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you're really taking a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me. Well, I'm like, let me bite you. I'm tired. I should hurry up and check out another place. But Sonia's here, so I'm sorry. We have to check out with her. Amazing. What a splendid place, Jaime. Is this the must be? But the, this must be the fabled disco. Disco. Yeah. It's where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes. They dance in their go-go's and lamb lambdas. I have no clue what Sonia is talking about. Per the usual. This is there's a stage. Probably never had a chance to be in the limelight. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. Might as well check what's inside. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and a guitar. Looks like the stage design is stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special here that we need to, right now. I mean... There's a lot of stickers with the venue logo placed here. Looks like a we, they made a bunch of them and had too many leftovers, so it, it's, it feels somewhat depressing. There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about the guitars and drums, but... There's also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. Oh boy. Well, they're serving tequila beer in here. Okay. Um, can I get a water? No. Tequila and beer. They go on staff. Water? Nah. What's that? Where would you like to go? Third Island. Back to the Third Island. The hospital. This seems like a lot of places that the people left or that would it, the people left would enjoy. A note from looks like this is the hospital lobby. The ambiance feels sort of like a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Holy sh! <laughs> I'm sorry I scared you, but don't worry. If you have a heart attack from getting scared, this is the hospital after all. That moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. 
can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here. What's going on with this what? island? Uh, I noticed that all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure if they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> ah, that means I need to check them, right? Understood. Go ahead. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash. Please don't hate me. Mikan frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's only it's only to leave this place to her, huh? Hi, Gundam. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so who is the notice written for? <laughs> mm. Of all the people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I've said too much. Forget what you have heard for your sake. He's the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget about it? I mean, it's okay. Hospital hallway. It's a patient room and consultation room and are beyond this point. Well, it's fine. I'll leave it to me, Con. I guess all I can do is leave. I've investigated all the areas. Please wait. Hi, Ming. Over here. Please hold on. Sonia, did something happen? Well? Just now, I went to the hospital and it appears Miko made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not like strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hi, mate. It appears you are the same as me. Huh? See? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember the person in the wind. What are you talking about? Jeez, you were so unrefined. It is Japanese. It, it's... It is Japan legendary medical drama. That Person in the Wind aired in 1984 and has set the standard for every tra uh, trendy drama that followed. Well? It's about the righteous rookie doctor and the elite senior doctor who fought over the mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life too. Hold on. What do you know? Why do you know so much about an old Japanese medical drama? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. I'll be waiting in the patient's room in the back of the hospital on the first floor. <clears throat> The patient room in the back of the hospital on the first floor? I don't really understand, but I might as well go over to the hospital. We were just there. <laughs> Time to go back inside! Hello there. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. All the others are already here? Yep. There, our patient rooms line in the hallway, but everyone apparently gathered in the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia. An unexpected as expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with her feelings, uh, the feelings of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since she's going to be such, since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me would be just a nuisance, right? A touching scene. Hi, hi, man. I'm jealous of you. J jealous of me. Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well. Nope, not at all. Hmm. But still, I wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm stopping for, or sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go ahead and take care. After all that, did he really want to say? Is, what did he really want to say to me? I don't know, but I don't trust him. So bye. Back hospital room floor one. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. It sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help but raise from raising my voice. Oh! You all look like you've seen a ghost. Me and Hiko, are you all right? <laughs> it's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way. 
I can die. Um. Earlier, I asked Motokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sore-related wounds, but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> huh, so you're a ballsy one. That's what it's called, having the devil's luck. That's so. Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well? Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by the horde of marionettes? But still... If she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it is not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. Um, I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it would be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry, I'll take good care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges you. That's Seriously, more. he's not dead. Um, um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. Akane Fuyuhiko is finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. No. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. This is bad. She doesn't understand it at all. Then, uh, then do whatever you want. Hey, Nekamaru. Jeez. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So you do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However, However I'm not going to do it to you again. It. Uh, uh, Please keep your voices down. You are the loudest one here. Hey! Hey, wait a second, Nekamaru. It was my first time. I never thought something would feel so good if it existed in the world. My body still hasn't forgotten, and you know what you're saying. You're just gonna stop all of a sudden? Hot. Look, my body's getting hot all again, just thinking about it. Hey, hey. Hey, are you kidding me? Is it what I think it is? No, it's not. It's it, it's not. Let's be let's be one hundred percent frank. One, I don't want to believe it. But two, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Like they're they're just talking about their training. If you're not going to heed my warning, that's unfortunate. But it must come to an end. He spat those words, and Nekamaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on! I can't leave without it. With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekamaru, Akane rushed to the patient's room. Oh my. I wonder what that was all about. Probably their training. Probably their training. <laughs> Whew. It's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside of the hospital. Oh, it's okay. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hyoko. <laughs> it's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one that Mihiro, or who got Mihiro killed by Peko. And Hyoko is nearly framed her as, or nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's going to just get over that. Hey, what are you making? Why are you making such a scary face? No, right? Like, no matter what it means, it, right? No! It does it. They did not bang. At all. Nekamaru refused for me, so there's no way that they did. He's still talking about hey, it. Hey, hey. Suspicious. It's definitely suspicious. Oh. All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has just become a towering inferno. Yeah, because it, it, they didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason for me to chase them. No, Kazuichi. I disagree. Let them be. Uh, just let them be. You can watch from the sideline. Be mad about it if it if it is really it, but you want to let them be happy first and foremost. Uh, now that I have peace of mind, I'm getting really sleepy. I should definitely go home for today. Same here. All that walking just wore me out. Sleepy. Yeah, let's go home. Let's go home and get some sleep. She fell asleep as she was talking. How tired is she? So what should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for the day? 
We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from waiting here with what we've done today. Um, please leave Yuhiko to me. I will make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. I will do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us to out, but the exhaustion we felt we might have been feeling a, a sigh of relief. I arrived at my cottage earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What a good What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in the group because they don't want to have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and I laugh, you know? They're really lazy people who will run away from the other guy and start fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who's, uh, who's alone or unarmed, you know? They always are the winner and they don't know what it's like to have a weakling worries, you know? And they always wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means that they're a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who are, have, don't have many friends, you know? Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? Understandable. Whew. It's been a while since my I've slept a lot. My head feels a lot clearer thanks to that. All right, I should head over to the restaurant. I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, I was expecting free time, but I'm okay with it not being right now, to be fair. Hi, Mikon. I thought you were... You probably wanted to go to some sleep. Good morning, Mikon. Uh, hi, mate. Good morning. It's almost time to eat meat with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. I'm so glad. I wanted to, I wanted to check on Fuyuhiko, so I thought it was late. I see you were busy this morning. No, no, no. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. How's Fuyuhiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant. Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant while everyone's together. I understand. I shall go on ahead then. I guess I should go to the restaurant too. Yep. Hi, Nekamaru. I thought I saw you in the corner of my eye. Yo, Nekamaru. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from the, your stomach. Jeez, does he have to be like that this in the morning? It's perfect! It wake me up. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now your voice will reach the sun. Oh. And to our departed Mahiru and Peko. You're right. I'm sure they heard it. Huh? I'm just a mere team manager, therefore I don't know anything about that art. However, when I saw Mahiru's photos for the first time... <laughs> My vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly, that is a splendid thing. It is a pity what happened to Mahiru, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Eh, I'll never forget it either. You're getting to see a lot more of a soft side to Nekamaru. Like, it's very interesting, to say the least. I mean, I know he's the team manager, and that's, like, kind of part of his shindig, but still. <laughs> what happened? I want to listen. Huh? Emergency! I want to listen to the songs of the Buki's favorite artists. But there's no TV or radio here, you know? I'm starving for the death of a musical deprivation. Um, do they sell... Don't they sell CDs in the supermarket? This is going they do, but it's only the classics and the usual mainstream pop. Uh, right at this moment, new albums are popping out all over the world. Uh, Man, if only I bought a, me a sweet CD they found on the floor. A CD? If I ever find one, I should tell a Buki about it. Yo, hi, May. Good morning. Hey, hey. Oh, you're looking better than usual. Everyone I've met, like, is like that too. Did something happen? Well, Fuyuhiko is safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like I can eat more delicious food than usual. Right. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm going to eat everything in that restaurant. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy too. Jeez. Doesn't it feel like we're forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? Like, there's something I need to find out at the supermarket today. Something to find. Want me to help you? Yeah. It's fine. I'm going to look for a camera. And I'll probably find it really, really fast. I have a camera. Well, it's actually a toy camera. That's weird. Huh? Really? Uh... Um, if that's the case, I probably need a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Hey, you. Hey, Jaime. I have a favor to ask you. 
I guess I'll listen to what you have to say. Hey, hey. Come to the music venue right after breakfast and bring a camera too. I've got some free time, right? Or so it's okay, right? I'm free, sure. <laughs> Yay! I don't dislike anyone who knows their place. Bye. It's a, a promise. You definitely have to come. Somehow I ended up making a promise, but is this really okay? I hope she doesn't make me do anything weird. I probably just locked in one of my free time segments, but that's not too big of an issue. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuhigo is safe. Then? Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let's try and put together our information about the new island. Jeez. In the end, we couldn't find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are so useless. Yes. But there's a music venue. I see. But I got that, but... What about the clue that we really need? Clues like information about the island or anything that might help us to understand what's happening to us. <laughs> <coughs> In the town, with all of those machines, I did find a clue contained with the file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um, I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked that as well. This too must be I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope Peaks Academy was already been destroyed. <laughs> Oh, Home Sweet Cave Academy's been destroyed? Wow. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. Um, there's no way Home Peaks Academy would fall. But even if it w is a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. Damn it. A symbol of hope getting destroyed? It's not something you even joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if we can confirm it yourself. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. So basically, on that island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> Hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you don't have to correct us each time. <laughs> However, it's not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but I'm sh it sure makes me happy to think he's going to be back to us. <laughs> he's recovering extremely well, too, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However... He's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. <laughs> he totally deserves that. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. Yeesh. You certainly ate it a lot without ever listening to what the others are saying. Um. Okay, then. Since I'm stuffed, I should go to the train oh. now. I should go train now. Train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. Yo. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger and I have to... I have to do it. Bye now. My. She's like really pumped up. Huh? I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning meeting has ended and we all went back to our cottages. Free time! Okay, I knew we were gonna get free time. I just didn't. I'm supposed to meet Hiyoko now. What does she want me to do with the camera and music venue? Hey, Hiyoko, I'm here. Jeez. You're late, Hayame. Oh, my, my. My, my. If, if it isn't Hayame, what's up? And, huh? Abuki and Chiaki, too. What do you guys... Uh, could it be? Does the cameraman mean you, Hayame? Cameraman? Wait, hold on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Man, you're sure dense. I won't... You won't get it unless I explain it to you. Dense or not, it's impossible to find out without a hint or two. Well... Apparently, we're going to hold a memorial for Mihiru right now. Mihiru? I see. Mihiru told, us, see. Mihiru told me she wanted to take pictures of me jamming on the in, on an instrument. And she also said she wanted me to take pictures of Hiyoko dancing. <laughs> so we decided to put it all together, and I shall call it the Memorial Jam Session. Ah, uh, I see. So I have to take pictures of that. So I guess that's a great idea. I'm sure Mihiru is going to be happy. Hey, hey! If you think so, you're going to accept the cameraman position, right? But that's a huge responsibility. Hey. Huh? Are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? No, I will. There's no way my pictures will be as good as Mihiru's, but I'll take as many as I can. Yep. I'll be counting on you. I'll do my very best to play an instrument as well. Huh? You too. Um. At first, I heard about the idea from Ibuki, and I was planning just to watch. But look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? Yep. Even I can play something like this. So, is it okay if I participate? Right. Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to mourn from Mihiru. No problemo! You don't need the skill on the stage, just heart. Huh. 
Well, I guess it's okay. The hero's probably gonna be happy about that. But if you suck, I'm gonna make you stop, okay? So we finished our preparations, and the memorial service for Mahiria began. My eyes are crushed by the silent serenade! Even the tips of my fingers are crimson red! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so electric! It feels awesome! Jackie's hitting that triangle with intensity. The combination is crazy and everyone's doing different things, but strangely harmonizing really, really well. Even though our places are a little different, we will be able to be like this in the future. Mahiru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Kyoko dance? It's not just Mihiru. Pekko, Teru, Teru, Byakuya, are you all watching? We'll never forget about you ever, and we will not let your deaths. West, we will not waste your deaths. We will survive and get off this island. I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back to my cottage for the time being. I think we wasted a free time slot on that. Now then, what should I do today? We did. Okay, we wasted a free time slot on that, but that's okay. Leave it here. Yes, obviously. We gotta figure out what's going on. Unless we just got a secret scene, and that's even cooler. But I gotta say that we probably wasted a free time slot on that. Chiaki's in the building where she always is. Nekamaru's in here in the restaurant. Dinner date? No. Akane... Uh, I don't want to, but I might have to go to the library. Yeah. Like I said, I don't want to, and I'm not necessarily the happiest. I'd rather go on my dinner date with Nekamaru, but... Ugh... I feel like I'm wasting this free time, this opportunity to have a dinner date. And I'm just talking to the person that I don't want to talk to at all. But here's my logic on this. And I guess I got to explain it a little bit. I think that this person is going to last till the very end. Right? So yes, in theory, that would mean I'd have more time with said person. But also, I want to make a good relationship with this person. Because like I was talking about with Biakia. If I don't have good relationships with the people that I think are going to make it to the very end, then I'm frickin' doodle. And I don't need to die. <laughs> I wonder what sort of motive Monokuma is going to prepare this time. Can I hang even hang out with somebody like Nagito? Yes, we have to. I am so blessed to hear you say that to me. I'm not. I spent time with Nagito today. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Nagito a present? Sure. What twisted present can we give him? Oh, here. You might like this, actually. Uh, Hi, Yume. I don't even know what to say to this, but... Thanks. This is the first time I've ever received a gift that made me this happy, so thank you. That's it? So bright outside. <gasps> Yay! We didn't waste a free time slot. We just got an extra scene. Uh, let's go. Uh, we don't have... We might actually... Be, that was the quickest interaction I feel like with somebody ever. Okay. Do, can I still get my... The best course the thing? The best thing would be if I can still get my dinner date. No! I can't. Oh! <laughs> I lost my opportunity at my dinner date for a library. Uh, e. Mikanabuki, Mikanabuki, Mikanabuki. Oh, I didn't get anything for hanging out with Nagito. That's weird. It's on this side. Mikan's in here, so let's see. Ding dong. Yes. Let's hang out, Mikan. <laughs> Hi, May. Oh, what are you doing? What should I do? Yes. 
Um, I was going to visit the library. Would you like to come too? Sure. There were some medical books in there, and I was thinking about studying. I spent time today basically learning basic first aid techniques. It looks like Mihan and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Mihan a present? Yes. Here, have some water. Oh wait, for this is used for bandages. Is this something you throw or hit things with? Ah, <laughs> uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I'll make sure to take good care of it. Um, about before. Doesn't really matter. I'm sorry. I had a weird attitude too. I'm sorry. He didn't do anything wrong. It's my fault. That's that's definitely it. Well, I'm going to try. I'm, I'm trying to say it's my fault. So, huh? Hi, May, you look pale. Huh? Really? Yes, your blood circulation looks worse than usual. Have you been eating breakfast? Have you been getting enough sleep? Well, I've been eating somewhat, but I guess I'm not getting enough sleep. I understand if you can't help it since we're in this situation, but try and avoid consuming any stimulants before you sleep. And take deep breaths and do some light stretching. <laughs> Little things like that should help you with the quality of your sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, it can weaken your immune system and lead to a various amount of illnesses. So please be careful. Also, um, is something the matter? No, I was just a little surprised. Uh, I forgot to hold myself again. I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. You're wrong. You're amazing. As expected of the ultimate nurse. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just skilled at reading people's faces. I've been this way ever since I was young. I would get beaten up at school and at home a lot. Since nobody would treat me with when I was hurt, I just did it myself and eventually got good at it. That it really? But I think you are amazing. You have amazing talent for helping people. I mean, even now you notice right away that I wasn't feeling well, right? So thank you for caring about me. I always treated myself for my own sake. But one day I realized something. Sick people and injured people are weaker than me. Huh? I mean, if you just ignore a sick person or an injured person, they won't be able to endure the pain. And if worse comes to worse, they could eventually die, right? But if I know the proper way to treat them, that means my words are absolute, which means they'll need me and they can depend on me completely. That's why I can't leave the sick and injured alone, because I always listen to what they have to say. I thought I was slowly starting to understand Mikan, little by little, but I guess I was completely wrong. Um, Hajime, I said something unnecessary again. I'm sorry. sorry. Um, do you want me to buy you something to drink? Uh, I know. I was also really good at imitating, or imitating a sea turtle when she's about to lay eggs. No, you really don't have to do that. Huh? Why? Um, if you don't feel well, I'll take care of you with all of my might. No, I'm fine. In fact, I'm start really feeling really energetic all of a sudden. Really? That's great to hear. Um. Uh, if I show her any weaknesses, it'll be the end of me. Because report card has been updated, and we got a hope fragment for that. So why didn't we get one for Hayame or uh, Nagito? I kept walking or talking to Nikon and avoided talking about illnesses. I was exhausted when I got back to my room. Nighttime. Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now to please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. It's not like I have anything to do, so I should get sleep for today. But it should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. You guys? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. 
No, I'm not saying that killing meaningless is time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember, and times you want to forget. They all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So isn't killing time by worry about killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? Hmm. Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. What? Oh, oh, Tabuk is taking charge on this. Okay, I was like, did I just mess up? I didn't skip it, did I? Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. Good morning. Looks like today's going to be another perfect tropical day. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what a huge success. I received a nice reaction. Tabuki, how did you get in here? Ah, oh, Hayame, you're so careless. Careless? I mean, I made sure I locked the door. And, dis and I destroyed the worthless lock. What? Why'd you destroy it? Hey, hey. Who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> Four hugs? No, there was just three. Uh, if you got time to pick others, you then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll explain the details there. So I'm counting on you. She's like a hurricane. But did you take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me? Did something bad happen again? I'm feeling a little depressed already. Yeah, and we will figure out why and what's going on in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. What does Ibuki have for us? Are we going to have some fun? Are we not going to have some fun? Did somebody die? What do we have to figure out? That is all upcoming in the next episode. Let's check our pet. 400 exactly until we up, up the... No! Our despair meter! Okay, anyway. Back to the next episode. We will figure out that. Love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!